Hi, I'm Simon Brown, the designer and builder of the wand, tone arm and turntable. This video is about how to unpack and set up your wand turntable. Comes in a fairly plain cardboard box. We just take out the top packer and then the lid is exposed and we take the lid out. Next we lift out, lift out the top box with all the accessories and if you've bought it with the tone arm, it has the tone arm in it. So that's the tone arm instructions and there we have the accessory box. We'll just put that aside for a moment, we'll come back to that. There's two bits of, of card to lift out on either side. And then the whole, whole turntable assembly lifts out. We'll just put that down here. And we're left with the power cord and the platter box. So the first thing we do is slide off the, the plastic off the main turntable assembly. So it's just taped on the left hand side here. And then this bag slides, slides off. Take the cover off the spindle. Um, it has already got some oil in it, but it's probably, it is good to, to put just a few drops of one drop basically down the side and one or two drops in there. This, this comes with the turntable. Then we take the platter out of its box. Peel the plastic off the platter and then we just sit that onto the spindle. I find it easiest if you look down and you can see where the spindle is as you put it on and then that saves a lot of moving around. So it should rotate really easily. If, if you find it's just jammed and doesn't move at all, that means the ball has got lost from down the bottom. Um, we provide a spare ball as well so just remember to put that in. The next thing is to put the belt on. So the technique I find is, is helpful is to start from this side and just pull it around there. And it goes underneath this pulley thing, not on the top of it. And then you just give it a gentle rotate by hand and that should be fine. The one turntable comes either with no arm fitted and you can you can fit your own arm into this slot or it can come with any of the three one tone arm lengths fitted either the nine and a half inch the 10 inch or the 12 inch so this part of the video we're going to look um, at putting the tone arm onto the mounting which here is is fitted and it's fitted already to go in the right place in the right height or good starting height anyway for in this case a 10 inch arm. So we'll just take the, the cap off the um, spindle and I'll just grab the box of the box of tone arm bits and run you through. So in here we have the following. So roughly these bits are turntable bits, these are tone arm bits. So up here we have the power supply for the turntable, oil, belt, and then a bag containing um, an earth wire, a spare ball for the turntable, a level, um, and, and the oil. Um, here's the turntable clamp, tone arm, autophone level with the tone arm, and then the bag of the bits for the tone arm, 
screws, um, Allen hex keys, grease, that sort of thing. They're all needed for the for the tone arm. So if we take the tone arm out, arm wand out, I've already fitted the cartridge. I'm cheating here. There is a separate video about set, setting the putting the cartridge on the on the tone arm. I just put this bo box aside out of out of camera for the moment. So what I might do is I might actually turn this round to face you in a moment. Um, so the way I, the technique I find best for putting the tone arm on is to feed the wire through the back clip. Again, there's a separate video about this. Push that in and then roll it over and set it down. Um, we just drop the wires down through there. And then pull that through. And then underneath here there is a clamp for the, that holds the plugs. So undo that, put, put the wires in there. Personally I like, while they're reasonably colour coded, I like to put red on the right and um, white on the left as it helps me remind without having to bend over and look and then screw that back up now the next really important step is adding the earth wire to the back of the tone arm uh, to the back of the turntable so, whoops, you get the earth wire from the tone arm, the earth wire to go to the amplifier, and this little screw here, and that just screws in the back there. And then that goes off to your amplifier. Um, and it's really important that it is earthed. Um, because otherwise you'll get a hum. Next thing is to level the turntable. Um, I'll just turn it back to face you. So a level is provided with the turntable and so um, on, this, on this surface actually that's annoyingly just about level but there's three feet. There's, there's one foot here, one foot here and one foot at the back lift up around around those points to see which one you're going to have to move the most to to adjust it so in this case i can feel it's this right hand one so if you wind it clockwise that that winds it down um, I'm, I'm just lifting it up to take weight off it and then down and that's pretty good oh, maybe a little more Anyway, that's, that's good now, put that away. Um, the next step is to plug in the power supply. Um, so this is the box, but I've, I've got one, one I prepared earlier, as they say in videos. So there's a, a plug in the side here, um, and that, that's just the power supply plugging in. Um, and then that gets plugged in and then we're ready to roll. Um, do, do watch the routing of this, um, particularly if you're using uh, moving magnet cartridges. Uh, you should be away from the, the routing of the tone arm wires. Um, but yeah, whatever, Un unfortunately it's very system dependent. Um, yeah, so once it's plugged in, it's, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, there's no adjustments, it locks on to speed and, and that's it. So the lid is designed to go this way around. Um, and the point of that um, is that it can, um, you can still cue it, um, from the front obviously, uh, when, when the lid's down. The idea is also that it stands up of its own accord um, or obviously you can lift it off 
while playing. For a 12 inch turn tone arm, you do need to lift it off. There's, it's so squeezed into the corner, you need to lift the lid off, but um, it's certainly okay to lift, leave it there um, when not in use. The clamp side of things, so you'll feel that in the middle of the record there's, there's a um, neoprene damping disc that's designed to damp vibrations. The, the platter itself is chosen as an acoustic match to record vinyl and it's designed to take vibrations away out of the record. Um, as is the whole of the platter is, is, is three layers of aluminium, acrylic aluminium and that's designed to be damp vibrations and yet not transmit noise from the motor system up through to the playing system. Um, the clamps pretty straightforward. Put on your record um, and just screw down the plant clamp clockwise. Now the clamp you have to be a bit careful because it depends on how bowed a record is. If and and you just need to watch it because some sometimes actually winding the clamp down too hard can can kick the outsides of the, of the record back. I tend to um, clamp it on gently rather than really firmly. I, th I think that tends to, to work better, but unfortunately it is very dependent on the individual record. And so don't just automatically assume it, winding it down really hard is gonna, gonna be the best thing. You can't actually, you can't do any wrong by either winding it on while it's, it's on or off. Um, yeah, I, I tend to feel that the clamp is as much or more about um, helping helping sync vibrations. It's, it's designed so that you can still read the record label when it's on. Yeah, they, I, I haven't really explained about, obviously it's 3345. Um, the motor control is such that it does actually have electronic braking, so when it's going reasonably fast, um, a relay will cut in and then it'll it'll stop reasonably quickly to to let you have a, a rapid change of, of LP. Thanks for watching this video about installing the one turntable. I hope you enjoy your one turntable as I enjoy listening to it myself. We're always improving things and we're always glad to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.